Do you have trouble reading the fine print on medicine bottles? Sometimes I do. Today's product may help us out. It's actually called the Mighty Sight. Mighty Sight is another as seen on TV product that says it will actually zoom in or magnify 160%. Hmm. Let's try this today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. Um, I also do some consumer gadgets, some other household items, and once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY stuff just because I like it and I think it's a lot of fun. If that's something that interests you, please click the subscribe button down below and click the bell right next to it so you're notified every single time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's unbox this product and see if it really, really works. Let's take this apart and see what we got. If I open up the box, I of course have my glasses. Here's what they look like. Um, first look, they're pretty heavy duty. I like that. They don't seem too cheap. Um, I see a button for on off and it looks like a, a port where I would charge. I also have um, a carrying case that came with it. That's real nice. Not every glass thing has carrying case. And then there's a charger. I think the charger must be for the lights. And then of course there's directions that I'll read off camera. Um, I purchased these for $19 and about 88 cents or 99 cents, I don't remember, but that $20 price range um, from Walmart. And that's in that regular as seen on TV price point. Um, these are interesting because they're not really glasses. They're our mighty sight. So they're just like magnification lenses. I'm just going to real quick peel off the front um, things here because I want to try them on. Now, they do say you're supposed to be able to wear your regular glasses underneath these so for those of you that have um, glasses you're supposed to be wear, able to wear these over top so I don't normally wear my glasses but I'm going to try it out for this video so let's try that um, and see all right so here we go Oop. all right so have my glasses on regular this is supposed to fit over top the frame it's a little tight for me I don't know if you can tell that so I wouldn't necessarily say it fits on every glass um great but to be honest with you, if I was using these, I probably wouldn't be using my glasses per se. Um, so I'll try them on, and this is what they look like with them on. Um, I do like the light feature. Um, I've known, I noticed right off the bat here, just by using this right now, that this one, it must have some sort of a short in the line. Because look, you see how that light turned off? Um, and it's supposed to, there it goes, it turned back on. And so I don't know if that's something that's because I haven't charged it yet. Um, oh, there it turned off again. Oop, it's on and off. Yeah, so it might be something just in this line. Um, and I don't know if that's something that, if you get a pair of these, you'll have that same issue. Um, but I'll take a look to see. Maybe it'll be different after I charge it. So first look, I like the way they look. I'm just going to real quick see if I can improve some of the, um, some of the writing here. Um, let's see, what do I have? I've got a nice little card right here. That's my insurance card. Let's see if I can read it. All right. Let's turn the light on because it is dark over here. All right, uh, present this card at each visit. This card is for identification use only. I can tell right away that that zoomed in pretty good. So I'm gonna let you um, take a look at it through the lens too. I'm gonna try to work it through the camera. So let's see if you can use the Mighty Sight through my camera. Let's check that. But you know what, let's charge it first. What I have here is on the very bottom. This is where the light is that I was telling you about earlier that turns the light on and off or the light switch. And look, that one's not lighting up that well again. Um, but here is the charger port. So there's a little rubber piece that's over there. You just peel it over and turn it. And the wire that it comes with is only about two foot long. So it's, you got to be really close to a plug. But you plug it in like this and you see that uh, red light that came on that indicates that it's charging and so what we'll do is we'll check in with this in a short while and then um, we will see how it works and hopefully that light works then okay after reading through the directions um, you will see that this light right here it's blinking red so they say that it'll blink red until it is fully charged when it's fully charged it'll be a solid red light and that takes about 30 minutes and with that 30 minute charge you have about three hours of use with the lights so let's check back in in about 30 minutes it's been 30 minutes and the light was glowing red so i knew it was done um so now i'm going to give this thing a few test runs i do want to say point out um, when you if you are using your actual glasses you should have this thing forward on your head 
not right up against your glasses. So this is almost like on the tip of your nose. Now you can still see that mine interfere with the frame here. So it's an issue there. Um, I really wish that button to turn the light on was in a different place because I hit it every time I move my glasses. Um, but anyway, just so you knew that. Now, I did charge them 30 minutes. This light does light up, but if you notice from time to time, if I move it, it goes out, okay? So I'm going to end up returning these and swapping them out for a new one because that's kind of annoying. Um, it's an annoying feature to have that not work. So this may not be true to everyone, but at least to me, um, the wiring must be off where one of the lights doesn't work. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to do two more tests. I'm going to get some up and close and personal writing here and see how the magnification works. And then I'm going to see how long the lights last because it says three hours and then I'll do my final review. Okay, so I have a Tylenol bottle with the warning on the back. You see where it says there? It says liver warning. I don't know if you can see it. But now let's test the glasses in front to see if it zooms it in for us any better. You know what? I think it actually does. It, it zooms it in. I can see the wording better. Um, so that is impressive. Um, so I will say that's a win for this product. Um, now I want to see how long these lights last on the front. It says three hours with the charge, so I'm going to set them on and let them go, and I'll check back in in three hours and see what I have. They're on. I wanted to show you this, and then three hours later, we're going to see if they're still this bright. Let's finish talking about the Mighty Sight um, glasses. They say they're 160% magnification. There is a little light feature which is supposed to help you do your work if it's you're looking real close and, and it's kind of dark. Um, the battery life lasts, yeah, about three hours. So when I had this running, they ran for about five hours, but there was a diminished um, light over the time. So after about three hours, even though it still lights up, it's not something that you're going to be able to use because they're pretty dim. Um, I just wanted to make sure I reiterate where you're supposed to wear these. So when I showed you with my, my glasses on, my glasses are up against my face and these are on my nose like this, right? So that's how you're supposed to wear them all the time. You're never supposed to have them up like regular glasses. You're always supposed to have them on the tip of your nose um, to using as magnification. Now, I did see that the magnification worked, um, but it wasn't that big of a difference. So for me, my regular glasses or regular readers might do the same exact trick. The only difference is this one has a rechargeable battery that um, has a light. I will talk the directions say don't walk with these on, don't of course drive with these on, don't operate heavy machinery with these on, um, don't stare directly into the LED light, and, and importantly do not get these wet. So they say if you have to clean them, it, they use the case that it comes with as a cleaning cloth. There's this handy little, handy dandy little piece there that you're just supposed to clean the lenses like this. Don't use anything else as in these lenses could scratch really, really easy. Remember I said these are about 20 bucks from Walmart um, or any other as seen on TV retailer that you may have. That was my review of the Mighty Sight. Not something I necessarily would use, but you might find benefit from it. And if you do, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Would you use these? Is this something that, um, you would use on a regular basis because I could see this for electronics, for sewing and all that kind of stuff. I just don't happen to do that. So let me know in the comment section below. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Hey, since you're still here, I did reference the One Power readers, or sort of using readers instead of the magnification glasses. Um, I did this as a review not too long ago. The prescription or the lens are about the same. They both do a magnification. Um, if you want to see my review of the One Power readers, I'm going to link it right up here. So go ahead and click it. Make sure you're logged in so you can see it. I'll see you over there.